So, 365 days on the Warp Tour. Yes. If you get a close up, you can see the lines of hell on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you started over after th on 366? Was it like a new day? Um, I wish that were the case. I've been getting asked about this uh, a little bit lately because you know it was a kind of a milestone thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the question is, how does it feel? It just, it, I, I can't believe where the time went. It's like 1997 yeah. was like I, I blinked and I woke up in 2014. There's not a festival that I've seen like this in the world that breaks down at 11 o'clock midnight, drives 300 miles, and then you wake up in the morning and it looks like it did the day before. Yeah. It's remarkable. And not many people, you, you, once in a while you hear of a band breaking down or this guy didn't show up or this guy got left behind. Yeah. Pretty much everybody makes it here too. It's, 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 it's insane if you think about it. Logistically, it shouldn't work. In 97, I think the touring, this included bus drivers and everything was uh, around 300 people. The future that you carry on your shoulders. There's always a, you know, the fighting spirit of the party that goes, well, you know, I want to fit in. Like, I want to be right. part of what's now. And like, well, A, I'm too fat to fit into skinny jeans. <laughs> um, getting a haircut, but I probably should have the swoopy bangs. I can't rock that. I cannot rock makeup. I don't look good in makeup. At the end of the day, we have to be who we are. We recently played a, a, a fair. The night before, Twisted Sister headline, and the next night we were the headliner. It was just, you know, there's people roasting, you know, hogs on the spit, and it was just uh, backwoods hillbillies running this yeah. thing. And what are we gonna do? do we could just be ourselves. We yeah. went out, we did our show, and we we, we had fun. Yeah. It's gotta be amazing to have a stylist in the band. Chris is an actual master barber. He has a I'm, license. Oh, okay. I have a license. Nice. So I can't get in that much trouble if I cut you. Fair enough. So when you're on tour, that's one of the millions of things that you like have to take chances that you, like one of the comforts of home you have to go without. I have horror stories. Oh you know, yeah. Totally. I, mean, I used to rock mohawks and stuff, and you know I would be like in Milwaukee or somewhere, and you'd be like, oh, I need a haircut. This looks like crap, yeah. you know. And you'd ask the club, Hey, is there anyone around here? Oh yeah, my friend over here, John. Oh, yeah, he yeah. does a great job, you know. And you walk, and John just scalps you. Or trims yeah. your sideburns. Yeah, up you, to you, here. Hot, you know, you look like you're in the military. Yeah.